Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt, and if you hear anyone snoring, it's my dog Charlie over there on the dog bed. So, I can hear him. Today we're gonna to talk about parallel sixths. So a parallel sixth is, it's a, it's a scale that both parts of the scale are in the same key, but it's two different points of the scale moving parallel together. You have this cool, This cool scale that moves right alongside each other. If you saw it on a music staff, the two notes would just be moving parallel together. That's why they call them parallel sixths. The other reason is the notes are a sixth apart. So I'll start with a D and a B. That's a sixth. D, E, F, G, A, B. It's a sixth. I'm going to go through them real quick. I want you to look at my left hand so you can see each interval. We're doing this scale in the key of G, but I want to show you how it works in several keys. So we're starting with the fourth and the second string open. Now, second string first fret, fourth string second fret. I'm going to slide that up two frets. So three and four. Five and five. I'm going to slide this up two frets. Seven and seven. Now I'm going to keep sliding, but I shift back to my first finger because now I'm on 8 and 9. I'm going to slide up middle finger. They're both on 10. And then when I get to 12, I've gone a full octave from my open strings. So again... Okay, now since we're in the key of G, I want you to watch something I do. My third string open is a G. And this one, this G, is going to be our drone. So when I play with the G as the drone, I'm going to start, and I'm just going to play 4-3-2. So there's a lot of different combinations I could use. I could start and alternate between like two and four together, third string in between. So like. This got me thinking about the guitar. The A string is uh, my fifth string open and the E string is my sixth string open. So what if I wanted to use those two notes as my drone? We started in the key of G. Next thing we're going to do is the key of A. If you know, A is a whole step or two frets up from G. So everything I just played in G is now going to shift two frets up on the guitar. Before I started with open strings, this time I'm going to start on the second fret. Left hand, I'm going to start here. Let's kind of establish the key. Of A. So, two and two, three and four, five and six, seven and seven, nine and nine, ten and eleven, twelve and twelve, and then to go the full octave now I have to go to fourteen. What's really cool now, my drone is a bass note. So listen to this. I 
I can do an alternating pattern where I play So that's where I'm playing the fifth string as the drone. I'm playing the fourth string, but I'm sliding to the next position. What if we wanted to do that in the key of E? This is going to be my starting position. Okay, so what happens is, now that I'm starting on 9, it's not like, especially on an acoustic that's only got 14 accessible frets, I can't go all the way up here. So um, I'm going to have to go down. But again, if you remember, after 12 frets, everything starts over. So if I start on E... And we're going to go down first. And always remember on the guitar, this is down because your pitch goes down. This is up. Okay. So I'm going to start on both of them on nine. Seven and seven. Five and six. Now four and four. Two and two. And if you want to keep going, second string open, fourth string, first fret. Now if I add the drone note, my low E. Right there, I'm back at I'm at uh, 13 and 12, which is an octave up from right here. Now I don't always have to go in order; I can uh, skip around. So I'm going to give you an example. I was working on a song today with a student, and um, this is an older worship song we've done in our church a lot. But this is a cool example of parallel sixths. I mean, that's just, you're playing the melody and you're getting a harmony in there as a bonus. Playing in the key of E. Oh, I'll give you a great example of this, okay? Garth Brooks, If Tomorrow Never Comes. Great example of parallel sixths. Well, I hope, um, hope this was informative. And more than that, I hope it was fun. And 
uh, something that you'll be able to use. If you like it, please let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, requests for videos in the future, also let me know. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.